السلام <تصفيق> عليكم every single person now this is the third exercise of the midterm exam of National High School of Mathematics Algiers uh, let A be a complex number which is represented by its uh, exponential form R is greater than zero this is no uh, no uh, this is a complex number which is not null, which is not uh, equal to zero. Theta, this is the principal argument, and n is a natural number, number which are not equal to uh, one. The first question, solve the equation z power n equal to a. In this case, this is the first question so we have z power n equal to r exponential e theta in this case what we can what we can say about this one we suppose that z takes the form uh, takes the form uh, r1 exponential e phi then we have r1 power n Exponential e n theta. We use uh, we use more the formula equal to r. This is a given one. Exponential e theta. Then we have r one is equal to the the nth square of r and theta is equal to uh, sorry uh, n phi is equal to theta plus 2 k phi and k uh, change from 0 to n minus 1 this means that the solution z takes the form the nth root this one exponential e and this is our angle it will divide by n exponential e times theta plus 2k phi over n. This is our solution. And since k vary from 0 to n minus 1, we have n solution. This is an equation of order n, and we have n solution. This is the first question. The, the second question deduce the solutions of z power 6 equal to uh, 64 <coughs> first of all we can remark we can remark that 64 is equal to 2 power 6 it has been done uh, to uh, fit to fit uh, very well with the uh, equation then we have z power 6 equal to 2 power 6 here we have one so we can replace one by exponential e uh, if we take uh, if we take zero we will go cosine zero which is equal to one plus e sine uh, zero which is equal to zero this is equal 
this is equal to what is one to one. Then applying slightly this this uh, equation, we will get z equal to two power six. The sixth root of two power six is equal to two. Exponential <laughs> theta equal to zero. So we have two e two k pi over six, and k goes from zero to six minus one, which means five. Those are our our six solutions. The the third question represent the found uh, solutions, the found solutions on the plane. What we can do? We can just trace a circle. We can just circle centered at zero. This radius is equal to 2. For k equal to, we can take, uh, for example, here 3. For k equal to 0, it is equal to 2. This is the first one. The second one, if k equal to uh, 1, we have t over 3. So, this one. This one. Since it's a complex number, so the second is symmetric. The uh, first one, second one, the third one, the third one for uh, chi equal to two, this one. This is a complex, so we have the symmetric one. And here for k equal to uh, a three, we have uh, exponential e t, this one. One, two, three, four, five, and six. We have our, our six solutions. The next question, solve or deduce the solution about this equation. How we can do? We can use the first question to solve this one. And there is many other ways that we can use. Uh, for example, we can calculate the modulus is equal to one. So this is, uh, uh, Z is a, uh, uh, real number <laughs> we have many ways I will uh, just give you one we transform this equation to z plus 1 over z minus 1 power n equal to 0 since z equal 1 is not a solution so z equal 1 isn't a solution we suppose that z is different of 1 and we can do, do this since Z isn't a solution. We make a change of variable. So we put t equal to z plus 1 over z minus 1. We get this equation. We are in the first question with a equal to just 1. 1 exponential e 0. Then the solutions take this this form. We take k, k is equal to r one exponential exponential uh, exponential two uh, k t over n e k change from zero to n minus one. So they are the solution. We, we, we make a change of variable, so we retrace our, our uh, uh, we retrace our feet, we come back, then we have t index z equal to z and index k plus 1 over z index k minus 1. We solve this equation to get zk equal. So here we have 
the solution. Uh, Zk equal to what? Zk equal with times here. We get Zk to k minus 2k equal to Zk plus 1. We need z index k. We give this we take uh, we give this to this this uh, side we get zk times 2k minus 1 we move this to this and we move this equal to 1 plus tk this implies that z and xk is equal to 1 plus t and xk over 1 uh, over tk minus 1 we replace tk by its value and someone is happy. We can make change. Uh, we can get a more uh, simplified formula, but this is largely sufficient. Thank you very much. See you next time.